This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Chem Power, and a better root planner. Yo, what's up? Uh, this is uh, a slightly different video. Uh, it's about Chem Power, and we are actually right now in the middle of a meeting with Chem Power. So, you know, you guys probably noticed that in the intro video, I mean, in the intro of every, every video, Chem Power logo starts showing up, but I didn't actually make an intro about why. Chem Power is now my sponsor, so um, I now have four people with me from Chem Power, and uh, um, just want to tell you that you know the reason why I chose Chem Power is because they have pretty awesome chargers. Uh, but maybe before that, uh, maybe me, me, myself, and then my audience want to know about the background of Chem Power. So, yeah, can some some of you some of you guys uh, tell me more, please? Yeah, I can do that. Hi, I'm I'm Mikko, uh, CTO of, of, of Kempower. Um, we started uh, early 2018, uh, just preparing uh, preparing concepts for EV charging, and and uh, later on, uh, uh, summer 18, we started the development, and and uh, yeah, one year ago we we got first uh, first product family ready. And and uh, since that uh, uh, we have been doing quite many charges, uh, especially in your Europe, but also in other continents. And you have background in uh, wheel wielding equipment, or is it? Yeah, yeah, we are belonging to the same same group than than uh, uh, welding company Kempi. Uh, uh, so. Uh, their business is, is like our business. We are taking taking AC from wall and uh, and transferring it to DC. Of course, uh, they, they are trying to do uh, arc, but we are trying to avoid that. <laughs> but uh, so so the hardware is similar, but you don't use the same uh, what do you call it the, the power modules or no. Power sources and power models are not exactly the same, but of course, same topologies, uh, same design guidelines are used, and and uh, partly partly same components as well. Yeah, and we have kind of inherited the, all the knowledge how to do weatherproof uh, power modules from from the Kempi background, but not exactly the same as Mikko says. Oh, because those the the, the welding equipment you can use them outdoor also. Is it? Yes. Yeah, for example, offshore Norway in the oil rigs, Kempi welding machines are used there, so pretty demanding uh, environments. Oh, nice. Yeah. But you know, okay, so you know the, the reason why uh, I like Kempower so much, I have a video I made last year about it. And uh, Kempower, uh, uh, all you guys, you drive, well, actually, let me ask you, by the way, uh, do you guys drive EVs? Awesome. Yes. 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 We, yeah. yes. We do. Yeah. We all do. We all do. Yeah. yeah we are having, in in company. Uh, we are having uh, something between four, 30 to forty uh, EVs. Because otherwise, we do not know uh, how it is to drive an EV if we are not driving it. Well, you know, this is actually a little bit uh, criticism towards other. Uh, uh, other charger companies is that I use them a lot, the other chargers, and sometimes I wonder if the guys who design those other chargers have driven an EV before. <laughs> the way the cables are placed, the, the very little did information those screens show you. But all right, so at least at least with Chem Power, uh, you guys have some cool uh, design on it based on you know thinking as an EV driver and that. Many EVs they don't show the charging speed, so you can actually see the charging speed uh, on the screen, and you can also bring it with you on the phone. And I think some of you guys who watched my video, you've seen it before. Um, there will be actually another episode where you can see more of the cool stuff behind it. Um, but I think for now, can we show something now, or should we wait for the next uh, episode? Uh, I I think I think we should wait for the next episode. Okay, yeah, okay, we, we're gonna wait for it. There. Yeah, but you guys know there, there is uh, this, um, uh, yeah, this this cool interface where you can see when you are charging, 
Uh, but in the next episode, we will actually uh, take a little look at the, at the background there. But you know, since um, since I made that video last year, it was uh, I just make it because uh, I I thought that those chargers were very cool and that that's the way to go for for other manufacturers. And you guys received some some uh, phone calls or some emails maybe after the video. Well, how was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we delivered the uh, Espa Espa uh, starting charging station that was uh, f first big charging station for us. It was uh, late late June uh, last year, and and then then we started our summer vacation. Um, I was first one to came back uh, to office, uh, and I realized that, that that the phones were ringing all the time, and and we got a lot of requests because. Uh, uh, so many, so many uh, EV guys are following you, and and they get no us and 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 ask more information. Yeah, and I I was actually discussing with when one of the the kind of recharge stations were open opened in in Finland a couple of weeks weeks ago. I I discussed with. Uh, with the business owner where it was located and I showed that hey do you know that you can actually see the battery graphs etc here but yeah I see it in Tesla Pair video. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, so uh, at least for me I only know that uh, for the, well, I mean I mean recharged yeah in Norway they use them and also BKK started using at uh, Fluido that's a pretty cool one boat charger. Uh, but which other countries uh, use scan power throughout Europe or the rest of the world? We have, um, as it's known, we cannot tell you all the people who will use it. But what's already said on LinkedIn, for example, we will have a racing track in Denmark opening very soon. Uh, only made for Porsche Taycan. That's the only racing car they could use there, said. So it will be a 200 volt system. Uh, that will be in uh, cooperation with FDM, the Danish car organization, whatever we call it. Uh, so that will be the, the first big opening now coming. But of course, there are much more coming during the next months. Uh, so during 2021, we will have many, many hundred charging uh, points, in, uh, especially in the, in the Nordic area, of course, but also going more to the south and uh, UK and these countries. So it will be rather much during this year. Oh, OK, but what about the uh, UK? But what about uh, Germany or France or those countries? Yes, we have uh, already our first uh, charges in, in those countries. Germany, Switzerland, uh, France. But I'm not sure you also noticed that it's a racing series called Extreme E. It's uh, done with uh, only electric cars. It's in fact, it's uh, French cars, all of them built at the same factory, but driven by very known drivers, driving a lot, or um, sailing around the world, uh, doing a uh, racing uh, rally with these cars. And that's a kind of French UK uh, cooperation. That, and so that's, that's very cool. We also got a lot of attention after that because that was, uh, it's, it's like formula. One, you know, Ray Extreme Me, the same kind of uh, build up, it's an organization arranging these events. So that is also a very, very cool uh, uh, reference we have. Yeah, but uh, in general, uh, I would say that uh, main, main, mainly our deployments now are in the Nordics, meaning Finland, Sweden, Norway, since, since, since that's close to home and that's very, eh, where it's easy to start. And of course, Norway has the biggest demand, demand on, on the EV charging due to the enormous amount of, of EVs on the roads. But, but uh, we, we are in other countries too and con continuously expand. Yeah. Uh, well, I just remember one thing. Um, you know the the picture behind the Miko. There is this uh, portable charger. Uh, wasn't that supposed to be used in uh, a bicycle race? Oh no, it was something. What was that again? Yes, uh, we have a race in the north called Arctic Race. Of course, when it's north, it has to be something with Arctic. <laughs> yeah. uh, going on in the beginning of August. 
and uh, it will be Hyundai uh, EVs being used as uh, service cars. And of course, the, you know, the, as a Norwegian, you also know that the infrastructure for chargers are not the best in the north. It's uh, long distances, very long, uh, a very big area. So uh, what they will use is this uh, trolley type, Mr. T R two D two. It's uh, several names for it, but it, that can be connected to sixty T M socket, industrial socket, or even thirty two. But with sixty T M, you can have approximately forty kilowatt as output uh, DC power. So that is uh, perfect for uh, for charging these uh, Hyundai in in, uh, in the north. So they can more or less park wherever they want to. They can uh, just find a garage workshop place and then uh, find a 60 T amp, connect it, and then you can charge. Yeah, super interesting. Uh, I mean, actually, one day, if I have the opportunity, I would like to try that portable charger. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, maybe if I go to Finland one day. Uh, but you well, see, um, yeah, I think Erling has has one one yeah. in Norway office already. So. We have one in in Norway to try. Yeah. Oh, interesting. We can uh, go there. It's uh, downtown Oslo. Okay, okay. So we see, um, you know, so again, like, uh, let me remind you, my audience here, that uh, the reason why I chose uh, uh, Chem Power is that, uh, you know, my, um, my sponsors, they are usually something related to EVs or charging or, well, Stolberg is a little bit different, but they are very sustainable at least. And Chem Power. Is right down my alley because I've seen and I've used those chem power chargers, and you have you guys have no idea how many times I would wish I had chem power on those other sites I've been charging. And when when the car I tested didn't show charging speed and I didn't know it was charging slow, or actually sometimes I start charging, I go inside the gas station, I come out, charger stopped. If I had uh, shown it in the phone, at least I will see that something was going on, you know. So I can run back and so, so you know, really, uh, I really believe in the Chem Power products and I want to promote it so that more people know about this. Yeah, I think it has almost become a luxury problem because as I heard that you guys almost have too many customers now. <laughs> Is that right, Paula? No, <laughs> it should be never, never case. Yeah, we have many, but it's not too many. Yeah, but as you as you know, we are we are getting more and more customers and and expanding the production. So so we are very happy 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 currently with the situation. But as as you know that uh, we are scaling up and uh, as we get more customers, we get more output, more charges out of the factory. Mm. But also, yeah, that's great. Uh, another thing I want like, what uh, my audience here to know is that. Um, on my my view YouTube viewers is that uh, it, this is quite unique that uh, the manufacturer gives me lots of insight in how the hardware and the software works. So we're going to have some really super interesting uh, discussions, uh, especially the next episode where we actually go where I go to the site and you guys sit in the back end and we show what's going on when an e-tron is charging, what kind of power modules are using, and all that cool stuff. Because uh, at least I find it interesting, and you know, I just don't, I don't just get a sponsor that pays me, and then I show the brand. We go deeper. We talk to the, we talk to the brand, and show them all the cool things here. So I'm really super happy with the, uh, with the, uh, the the corporation we have now. Look forward to show you more of our. Uh... Solutions, of course, you've seen some of them, but uh, you haven't seen so much of what we really can do. So that we really look forward to, and we look forward to the next uh, session with you at some days, next week, two weeks. Yeah, I should, by the way, mention that uh, uh, Arling, uh, he is the one on, on uh, if, yeah, it should be like this also in the recording, I hope, but at least Arling, uh, He's the one located in Norway, so I also have one guy uh, nearby in case uh, I need him to go to Espa and show me something. And then the three other guys, uh, you guys are located in Finland for now. Yeah. Cool. yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. So, and what about Sweden? Do you guys have also there or? Not currently, no. We are borrowing okay. uh, from both. We have a, you know, in Finland, they're multilingual, they're bilingual, or that's the name. Uh, so we have Swedish talking people in, in Finland taking care of Sweden right now. Yeah, yeah. It's actually my boss, Erik Kanerva. He takes care of Sweden. Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay, but anyway, so uh, I think this video, unfortunately, is getting very long. I could talk with you guys for a long time. Actually, I have been talking with many of these guys already uh, in other team, team meeting, but um, this video was just an introduction and to show you guys and my audience uh, the faces behind uh, or some of the faces behind uh, Camp Power. And the plan is that, uh, yes, I will, uh, I will go to ESPA. I will pick a day and go to ESPA and do a live uh, test over there. And uh, you guys are going to see some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, from on the back end, because, you know, it, you guys think that, oh, this is ju yet another boring back end of the charger. No, it, it's actually, I think it's more than just a regular uh, charger back end. So we're going to see that in the next, next episode, at least. So um, I think for now, I'd say uh, thank you guys so much, uh, Camp Power team, for uh, showing up and making this video. And I guess, hmm, yeah, I mean, if people have comments and questions, well, they should just, viewers, just leave comments and questions, and then I guess uh, Camp Power could also answer them. Or what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah sure, of course. Sure, definitely. Yeah, okay. So I think this is a little bit different video, but uh, you guys see me in a tiny screen, I think. I'm not sure how it shows up, but uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. See you. See you.